Hello children. Welcome to the next part of lesson 2 Nutrition in Animals. Reader exercise. Till now we have done reader exercise question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we will continue with question number 5. These question answer you may write it down in your rough notebook or paper and file. So that it will be useful for learning for the later exams. Question 5. What are willy? What is their location and function? Answer. The finger like projections in the inner walls of the small intestine is called willy. These are found in small intestine. Function. The willy increases the surface area for absorption of the digested food. This answer is not the answer. You may write in your own words also. Okay children. I will go on to the question number 6. Where is the bile produced? Which component of the food does it help to digest? Answer. Bile is produced in liver. The bile juice stored in sac called the gallbladder. It helps in the digestion of the fats. Question 7. Name the type of carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants but not by humans. Give the reason also. Answer. Cellulose is the carbohydrate that can be digested by ruminants. Ruminants have large sac like structure between the small intestine and the large intestine. The cellulose of the food is digested by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in humans. Why do we get instant energy from glucose? Answer. We get instant energy from glucose because it easily breaks down in the cell with the help of oxygen which provides instant energy to the organism. Glucose does not need digestion. It is directly absorbed in the, in the blood. Question 9. Which part of the digestive canal is involved in? Number 1. Absorption of food. Number 2. Chewing of food. Number 3. Killing of bacteria. Number 4. Complete digestion of food. Number 5. Formation of feces. Answer. First question. Absorption of food. Small intestine. Number 2. Chewing of food. Mouth. Number 3. Killing of bacteria. Stomach. Number 4. Complete digestion of food. Small intestine. Number 5. Formation of feces. Large intestine. Question 10. Write one similarity and one difference between the nutrition in amoeba and human beings. Answer. Similarity. The digestive juices in amoeba are secreted into food vacuole and in human being. The digestive juices are secreted in stomach and small intestine. Then the juices convert complex food into simpler soluble and absorbable substances. Difference. Amoeba captures the food with the help of pseudopodia and engulf it. In human beings, food is taken by the mouth. Question 11. Match the items of column 1 with suitable items in column 2. 
in under column one a salivary gland b stomach c liver d rectum e small intestine f large intestine under column two one bile juice secretion two storage of undigested food feces three sal saliva secretion number four acid release number five digestion is completed number six absorption of water answer salivary gland saliva secretion stomach acid release liver bile juice secretion rectum storage of undigested food or feces small intestine digestion is completed large intestine absorption of water question 12 label figure 2.11 of the digestive system here the diagram is given you have to label accordingly salivary glands esophagus stomach pancreas large intestine anus rectum appendix small intestine gall bladder liver and mouth so all this you have to label it correctly with the correct spelling use pencil to label in your textbook question 13 can we survive only on raw leafy vegetable grass discus we know that animals fungi bacteria non green plants and human beings do not have the ability to make their own food they depend upon autotrophs for their food directly or indirectly the green plant leafy vegetable grass trap solar energy and make their own food in the form of glucose so we can say that leafy vegetables and grass can provide sufficient energy to help us survive now let's uh, uh, go for extended learning activities and project so till now we have finished the reader exercise extended learning and activities those who are interested can do the first one given here is visit a doctor and find out number 1 under what condition does the patient need to be on a drip of glucose so this uh, answer mostly we all know the answer if you can't visit the doctor you may ask the elders in the family or any uh, sibling elder sibling or any relative who is in the medical field you can just call and find out second one till when does a patient need to be given glucose third how does glucose help the patient recover write the answers in your notebook so this is a general question which everyone has to know so i uh, don't want to give the answer uh, so that you will have the curiosity to find out from your uh, relatives or friends who are in medical field okay let's go to the second question find out what vitamins r and get the following information already in standard 6 we have learned about vitamins and their protective foods so if you know these answers you can write on your own otherwise you can ask someone at home or even refer the internet for the answers number 1 why are vitamins necessary in the diet number 2 which fruits or vegetables should be taken regularly to get vitamins 
So write a one page note on the information collected by you. You may take help of a doctor, a dietitian, your teacher or any other person or from any other source. So this is up to you from whom you take the information and uh, mostly the elders in the family or the elder siblings will be able to help you with this. And some of you might know the answers on your own. So clarify with somebody or in the uh, search the internet for the correct answer and then you may write them. Next activity, collect data from your friends, neighbors and classmates to know more about milk teeth. So about milk teeth we have learnt in this chapter. So this is a data collection that you have to do. Tabulate your data. One way of doing it is given below. So you have to take uh, people, you have to ask people the following things. First one is SN number uh, uh, 5 for 5 people. You may uh, collect for more than 5 also. Age at which the first tooth fell. So if you have family members, you were, uh, your own cousins who are younger to you of your age, you can ask them. Age at which last tooth fell. Number of teeth lost, number of teeth replaced. So all this you can get the information and write down. And uh, below the table, find out from at least 20 children and find the average age at which children lose the milk teeth. You may take help of your friends. So we have some more, many more activities related to uh, this lesson. If you are interested, you can do all these activities and acquire much knowledge. Textbook is not the limit. You have to go beyond the textbook and learn things.